Like these fights. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna look forward to that fight. I'm really, that's gonna be an interesting fight. I'm gonna wonder. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just gonna overpower him. He's gonna catch up with him and overpower him. I feel like Mike Tyson has recently weighed in on the Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk bout, giving his take on the match. In Tyson's view, the Gypsy King is poised to dominate Usyk in the ring. On the flip side, Anthony Joshua has a different perspective firmly believing that Usyk will emerge victorious against Tyson Fury. I think Usyk will win. Okay. Yeah. But you've been in, in, well, not declined to answer it, but before you didn't really answer nah, that question. I've always said, I don't know if I've always said it, but I think, I think Usyk will win. I think in response to AG's prediction, Tyson Fury had his say. What led Joshua to back Usyk over Fury in their upcoming clash? It turns out these two share a rivalry, adding an intriguing layer to a potential future bout between them. Could a showdown between the two be on the horizon? Stick around as we delve into this in the video. The boxing world is eagerly anticipating the World Heavyweight Championship clash between Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, set to unfold in Saudi Arabia in May. This bout holds immense significance, with legends like Mike Tyson already sharing their predictions with the world. Recently, Anthony Joshua, a former heavyweight champion and a rival of the Gypsy King, made a noteworthy prediction that goes against Iron Mike's foresight. In a previous interview a few months ago, Mike Tyson boldly predicted a Fury victory over his Ukrainian opponent. His endorsement of Tyson Fury over Alexander Yusk isn't just a casual opinion, it underscores his profound understanding and insight into the intricacies of boxing. The clash of predictions between Joshua and Tyson Fury adds a compelling dimension to the buildup of this highly anticipated bout. In an extensive interview with Fight Hub TV, Tyson provided a thorough explanation for his prediction, highlighting Fury's physical attributes as a pivotal advantage in the upcoming bout. Renowned for his exceptional agility and boxing acumen, Fury stands as a towering figure in the heavyweight division, measuring 6'9 in height and weighing around 270 pounds. Fury's imposing physique, coupled with his unorthodox fighting style, presents a formidable challenge for any opponent entering the ring with him. Drawing from his own dominance in the late 1980s and early 1990s, particularly in the heavyweight division, Mike Tyson acknowledges the crucial role that size and strength play in determining the outcome of a fight, particularly within the heavyweight category. These fights, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna look forward to that fight. Really, that's gonna be an interesting fight. I'm gonna wonder. I'm going towards Tyson Fury because I think he's just gonna overpower him. He's gonna catch up with him and overpower him. I feel Tyson's analysis goes beyond mere physical comparisons as he recognizes Fury's unique talent and boxing IQ. Fury's ability to utilize his size not only defensively but also offensively is a key aspect of his fighting prowess. According to Tyson, Fury's capacity to overpower and catch opponents stems from his skill in leveraging reach and weight to dictate the pace and direction of the fight. This strategic approach could prove particularly effective against Usyk, who, despite undeniable skill and heart, lacks the physical stature of Fury. However, Tyson's endorsement of Fury also highlights the broader complexities and unpredictabilities of boxing. He notes that smaller fighters, akin to himself in his prime, often pose unique challenges due to their speed, agility, and ring navigation skills. Usyk's smaller size and mobility, in theory, could enable him to evade Fury's powerful strikes and tire him out over the course of the match. Yet, Tyson's confidence in Fury's ability to adapt and eventually catch Usyk reflects his belief in Fury's overall versatility as a fighter. While Iron Mike doesn't completely dismiss Usyk, he anticipates that this will be a challenging fight for the Ukrainian. On the other hand, Anthony Joshua, chatting with Ivel TV, shared his belief that Alexander Usyk would come out on top against Tyson Fury. Joshua's backing of Usyk holds weight, given his first-hand experience in the ring with the Ukrainian champion and his ongoing rivalry with Fury. This intricate backdrop adds depth to Joshua's prediction, blending professional insight with the nuanced dynamics of personal relationships in the sport. Joshua's prediction goes beyond simply reflecting his experiences. It's rooted in a strategic assessment of Usyk's abilities. Usyk, a former undisputed cruiserweight champion, smoothly transitioned to the heavyweight division, showcasing a unique mix of speed, agility, and technical proficiency. His victory over Joshua in September 2021 not only solidified his standing as a top heavyweight contender, 
but also highlighted his knack for outmaneuvering larger opponents through superior footwork and strategic acumen. Joshua's faith in Yusik acknowledges the Ukrainians' exceptional skill set and adaptability, factors crucial in a matchup against Fury. Joshua's insights reveal an understanding of the psychological aspects of boxing. The rivalry between Joshua and Fury, marked by public exchanges and a failed negotiation for their own bout, adds complexity to Joshua's prediction, emphasizing the allure of a potential future fight with Fury. Joshua's support for Yusik might also suggest a desire to see his rival face a formidable challenge. Beyond personal dynamics, Joshua's stance underscores respect for Yusk's craft and strategic mind, characteristics he has witnessed firsthand. I think Yusik will win. Okay. Yeah. But you're a bit in, in, like, not declined to answer it, but before you didn't really answer nah, that question. I've always said, I don't know if I've always said it, but I think, I think Usyk will win. Joshua's prediction opens up a wider chat about the heavyweight division's transformation, traditionally ruled by bigger fighters. There's a clear shift where versatility and technical skills are gaining more importance. Usyk embodies this new generation of heavyweights who use speed and technique to take down physically imposing opponents. Joshua's support for Usyk against Fury not only reflects his personal experiences and strategic insights, but also acknowledges the changing dynamics in heavyweight boxing. While the rivalry plays a role in AJ's decision, it's crucial to note that the British ex-heavyweight champion knows firsthand what Usyk is capable of, influencing his choice in favor of Usyk over Fury. Yet, as Mike Tyson pointed out, it won't be a walk in the park for Usyk, given the Gypsy King's formidable skills. Following Joshua's prediction of Usyk's victory, the Gypsy King fired back with a strong warning to his British counterpart. Fury took to Instagram, delivering a forceful message. Only in AJ's dreams can Yusik beat me. I'll wipe the floor with both of your bums. Fury's reaction stirred significant attention among fans on social media. One user commented, Fury is in no position to talk after this embarrassment to the sport of boxing. Many fans are itching for the AJ vs. Tyson Fury face-off, considering it a highlight in British boxing history. Sadly, this epic clash hasn't happened yet, and part of the blame is thrown at the Gypsy King, who has sidestepped a showdown with AJ multiple times. However, the upcoming match between AJ and the Ganu provides a golden opportunity for the British boxer to line up a match with the Gypsy King. AJ needs to secure a win in this eliminator, paving the way for a potential duel with Fury, assuming Fury prevails against Usyk in their championship clash a few months down the line. I ain't retiring anyway, I've got two fights with Usyk, for the Undisputed, twice. Then I'm going to fight AJ at least once, maybe twice, if there's a rematch, if he wants one, after the first battering of him. And then the I'm upcoming clash between Anthony Joshua and Francis Naganu is a big deal, not just for Joshua, but for the heavyweight boxing scene overall. Joshua, the seasoned boxer, is set to face Naganu, an MMA heavyweight known for his devastating power, creating a buzz among fight fans worldwide. However, this match means a lot more for Joshua than just one fight. A win over Naganu would be a powerful statement, showcasing Joshua's dominance in the heavyweight division and his ability to conquer an unorthodox challenge. Naganu's reputation for explosive knockouts in the UFC adds an extra layer of significance, highlighting Joshua's adaptability against a powerful opponent from a different combat sports background. It's also a chance for Joshua to shake off doubts from his past losses to Andy Ruse Jr. and Alexander Yusik, proving he's still a top-tier heavyweight with global appeal. On the flip side, a loss to Naganu could be a significant setback for Joshua. It might dent his marketability and status within the sport, especially in a ruthless world of heavyweight boxing, where a single defeat can shift narratives drastically. Joshua's dreams of future blockbuster fights, including the much-anticipated showdown with Tyson Fury, could be on shaky ground if he doesn't come out on top against Naganu. The buzz around a Joshua Fury showdown isn't just about them both being Brits. It's about settling the score for the heavyweight crown. A stumble against Yunano could spoil the build-up to this potential epic clash, draining away its excitement and importance. Plus, taking a hit from Naganu, especially if it ends in a knockout, might mess with Joshua's headspace and impact how he approaches future fights. The heavyweight arena is cutthroat, with new contenders and old champs all gunning for the top spot. In this scene, Joshua's knack for bouncing back, tweaking his game plan, and keeping his cool is a deal-breaker. 
Now, spill the beans on what you think about AJ's foresight for Fury's heavyweight title bout. Can the ex-heavyweight champ conquer Nagandu and lock in a date with the Gypsy King? Share your take in the comments below. That's a wrap for today. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and flick on the bell for the freshest updates, so you're never in the dark about videos like this. Thanks for tuning in, and catch you in the next one.